Hi, my name is Ben Hansen, and I'm going to talk about the Jahari window. So the Jahari window is something that allows us to have a better self-concept of ourselves, and it's split into four quadrants, each in relation to what is personally known about us and what we know about ourselves. So the first quadrant is what we know about ourselves and what others know about us. And so this is something that's kind of common knowledge. It's well known, it's open. So for example, I'm a photographer. I post a lot of my photos on social media. And so people who follow me on social media or just know me personally know me as a photographer. So this is something that would fit into the first quadrant. So the second quadrant is the hidden area. And this is um, what we know about ourselves, but others don't know about us. And so this can be described as our private or secret life. And this can be something that relates to mental health issues or sexual orientations or you know past experiences. And the next quadrant I would like to talk about is the blind spot. So it's known to others, but it's not known to ourselves. And it's kind of concealed or obstructed to us. And it's something we have yet to learn. Um, and so this can be traits that have been picked up by peers and they can kind of like let you know, or it can be found through gossip um, or anonymous like apps like Ask.fm. <laughs> um, that's kind of a throwback. <laughs> and so the final quadrant I'd like to talk about is the unknown, which is something yet to be known by others and the individual. So it remains unidentified and undiscovered, but it is discoverable. So it could be something like a new love for a sport or a food, um, finding out something about ancestry, um, that kind of thing. And so it's important to note that quadrants are not equal to each other. Some people are an open book and others are are a little more hidden and don't have their identity out on open. Um, and so overall, the Jahari window expands our self-concept to have a more neutral self-esteem. Uh, when we have self-confidence in our strengths and weaknesses, we can improve ourselves, allowing for more growth and self-love. High self-esteem can be a death sentence for a lot of people. And so this makes it really hard for someone to grow if they don't have anything to aspire to or anyone to look up to. Um, I guess, for example, I used the Jahari window without really thinking about it when um, my grandparents told me that I speak a little bit too fast. And, you know, I could have immediately thought, if I had a high self-esteem, I could have immediately thought like, oh, well, like they're old, they can't hear as well. That's something that they're just going to have to deal with. That's how normal people talk. But I, I really did listen to them and did listen to the way that they spoke. And I tried to be a lot more intentional with my speaking patterns after that and I've realized that I do speak pretty fast and I do really need to slow down for things like presentations like what I'm giving right now or when I'm just talking to new people um, that can come off a little strong so it's something that I personally have learned to um, kind of like find confidence in my weaknesses and it's really helped me improve and grow and so that's why I really think the Jahari window is something that's super important and that I think a lot of people need to understand in order to really like grow and improve as not only as individuals, but also as a society.